What's a good tip gonna... to just like being yourself? And not just because of you being like you, but for any of us to be ourselves. Dude, I don't know. I think um I think it just takes so I think it takes a while. I, I think growing up is nice every day I get older. I'm so appreciative. Finding your friends and not just like homies, but just being good at kind of going, even if you don't know somebody. Like just now, I said, I really like you. that was a that I have grown. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. Like I was like, dude, if you feel it, like go there. Be, I, be effusive because then it comes back to you. The world is a, a reciprocal place. And I came out of the womb like a Labrador in heat. That's like, why everyone loves you. Oh my God! <laughs> but you just said the thing that is the biggest takeaway for me. It takes time. We don't give each other time. We don't give ourselves time. Yeah. Time. And that's my next tattoo is the word time. Time. Okay. Yeah, because my daughter and I are so obsessed with it. We think... Oh. I've realized it's the most precious commodity we have, time. And, and timing, actually, this is an interesting correlation. I, I had met my children's father a couple years before we ended up meeting and settling down and building a family, and it wasn't the right time. Mm -hmm. um, and is it true that you met your partner and it wasn't the right time, but timing, made it so that you came together at the appropriate time, right time, correct time in that universal clock we can't see or control. Yeah, I did get really lucky to re-meet someone that I was like, I was so ill-equipped and now I am like gonna make this happen. <laughs> like I, I uh, yeah, I was just sort of in the right place to recognize and kind of respect how good she was compared to me, my selfish little self. I have to say your film, Love Lies Bleeding, is such an interesting exploration of where do you hold love. I am so obsessed with this new movie, Love Lies Bleeding, you guys. <laughs> it's literally the talk of the town right now. Mm -hmm. And it's the most extraordinary ride. It is, there are a million tones in it mixed brilliantly, cohesively together. Rose Glass is uh, director the of director. movies. She should do it forever. She's so good at it. And Katie O'Brien, who you are in... I've always loved love stories um, that had an unorthodox nature. Sometimes they come in the form of more of a friendship love story or a familiar or something else. This for me gave me all the satisfactions of what those stories are with the inclusion of the sexual and the intimacy and the chemistry. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's you only ever get one or the other and this to me was the best of all worlds. This is why I'm with a woman. <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, that was, yeah. And also, yeah, this, uh, this movie makes you feel a little tricky about obsession and about sort of the projections that we have of each other when we are falling for each other. And um, it's sort of like, it's like both a nightmare and a total fantasy when you're like, oh my God, I think I've just basically cre like created a superhero. And out it, of the person I'm with. And then you're like, wait, but I did make this up because now you really are that. Like, if you believe in something enough, it ends up happening. But then at the same time, you're like, wait, am I totally delusional and out of my mind? And is this love going to absolutely consume and destroy me? And the answer is maybe, you know. It really goes everywhere. It's oh. such an incredibly well-crafted, out-of-another era, mm -hmm. I will dare say, mm -hmm. film also, like... This is what we need today in film. I agree. I mean, by the way, do you know what's so weird? You're wearing a dice ring. Did you, did you know that I happened to bring a dice game? I was only told once I got here, but I'm, I'm now aware. Don't you think that's Bashert and like <laughs> yeah. meant to be? Yeah, Will it's wild. Will you play a dice game with me? <laughs> 